I remember Jimi Hendrix. You had some encounters with him. Oh, yeah. Where'd you see Jimi at? At the Whiskey of Go-Go's with Ed Cariff. He's a famous photographer, and we're walking down Sunset in front of the Whiskey, and Hilton Valentine from The Animals said, come on in, I want you to see my new artist, because he managed Jimmy. So Jimmy was up on stage with no band, just him playing guitar, and that was at the Whiskey A Go Go. Were you just blown away, or yeah. was it kind of, yeah? And then, of course, I've seen Jimmy many times before, and then at the Monterey Pop Festival. And then there was a band called The Cake, not The Guy Cake. There was a, a band called The Cake, okay, and there were girls, three girls, and they were recording at Gold Star Recording Studios, produced by uh, Charlie Green and Brian Stone. And I brought Jimi Hendrix. We went in his Stingray to see the cake. And he ended up hanging out with the cake. And then the cake had a house up in the Hollywood Hills that was a round house. <laughs> How appropriate. Jimi Hendrix had a Stingray? Yeah. It was a you know, rented Stingray, okay. powder blue. Incredible. He rode in the Stingray with Jimmy. And you guys went to Gold Star on Santa Monica, where it used to be, obviously. Yeah. They should have kept I, that place open. I used to go to Gold I used to live in Gold I went to all the Sunny and Cher recording sessions. There. Argentina T Turner, River Deep Mountain High. And that would have all been Phil Spector, too, yeah, in the Wall of Sound. And sound. Yeah, he was always there and always took care of everybody that showed up. Sunny and Cher were kind of like mother and father to you a little bit. They yeah, took they, you in. They looked <laughs> after me and took care of me and went to all the share sessions. And You were just a staple in all the music, the coolest things ever. Yeah. What was Phil Spector like? He liked an audience. and He was always entertaining. He was the star. It wasn't the star themselves. It was him. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was, he'd always have a studio jammed with people. Double drummers, four guitars. Yeah. He was a musician, so he understood the yeah, guitar, he played too. Yeah, guitar. He played, had records out, too. Where were you when you heard about him and Lana and the whole murder? And was that just so shocking to you? That was really shocking, yeah. Did you have um, any recollection of him carrying guns back then and stuff? Or was um, not, well, he's always fooling around. And you never know. Yeah. Because he always had bodyguards. Because, you know... He was a really short guy, mm -hmm. and one time he got robbed out on Sunset getting in his car. Wow. So then he started carrying a gun in with bodyguards and protection. Yeah, and yeah he got robbed. And then he went to Fairfax High. Whenever he'd go to the restroom, people would always pick on him, and even guys would hold him down and they'd piss on him. And oh, my gosh. Yeah. So that probably, you know, it was festering in him for a long time, a lot of yeah, anger and stuff. Yeah. 